Hello, this is Cast Blue, and welcome to Narsh. As you can see, I don't have either of these two in my party. That's because I actually just want to take the equipment off of Gao and Xian. Chachan. Let's see. Let's take the green barrettes. Those things are hella good. And that should be fine. So, now we can just talk to one of these guys and change our party up. Like so. Okay, so, uh, wrong button. Let's see. Sounds good. Green Barrettes are awesome, so... Yeah, just throw a Green Barrette on everyone except for the Mage. Seems like a good plan. Hmm... Yeah, okay, that looks pretty good. I think I can do better than this, though. Maybe Genji Gloves on you. Happy with that. Happy with that. Uh, happy with that. So yeah, just you. I'm thinking... Yeah, let's throw Genji Gloves on you. And... This may go without saying, but I'm probably not going to be recruiting Shadow for this point in the game. He, it would be nice to have him, but, well, I'd rather have all the people currently in my party. The person I would mo be most likely to swap out for him is Edgar, and I need Edgar for, for shopping. Uh, I want sprint shoes, so let's throw those on. And this is going to drop my evasion. Air, double air knife? I don't think so. Hmm, I would have more evasion if I used the shield as well. I don't know. I don't... Well, you know what? I really like having the high evasion on you. Hmm. You know, let's just throw the main gotch on. Draw some my power a little bit, but... Extra 10 evasion from dual wielding is still nice. Now... Before we head out, there are a few things we want to do in Narsh. Because now we actually have free reign of this place. For starters, let's see... Aha! It's a warehouse! Only that chest in the back corner is locked. I wonder if there's a way to open it. I wonder indeed. Reflect ring! Thief's Bracer. It's locked. Hyper Wrist. Thief's Knife. Earring. I don't really need any another earring. Money! Okay, so actually, I completely forgot about that stuff. Goodbye, Genji Glove. Hello, Thief Bracer. Gives me more speed, gives me more def well, actually, less defense, because Genji Glove, but... I guess I could get rid of the sp Sprint Shoes, but I want those on for now. And Thief Knife also increases my stealing rate. And it's actually a pretty powerful knife as well. Oh, it increases evasion. Yeah, I definitely want that one. Definitely. Oh, actually, that just makes me sometimes steal when I attack people. Well, it's still worthwhile. He should be a lot more efficient now, hopefully. Other than that, we have two places we want to go, if I can find them. I don't think this is one of them. Nope. It is not. Let's see... I believe this is? Nope. Maybe not. Hmm. I'm looking for the Elder's house. As I want to talk to him. 
The only thing that, Esp that Esper's brought us is trouble for with the Empire. Curse the day they dug up that freakish thing. Well, if you feel so strongly about it. Maybe this is it? Oh yeah, this is it. Haha! -ha! Another clock elixir! Why are all these elixirs in clocks? To be honest, I s I'm still not sure what I should do. I want to avoid war, but on the other hand... You do not have an enviable position. It must be said. But... Well, lastly, we want to visit the armor and weapon shops. Oh wait, this is Relic? Uh, I guess I don't have a fairy earring, but... Big deal? It's not exactly high on my priority list. Now, the armor and weapons, on the other hand... Let's see... I have two of those, so that's not a problem. I have two of those. I have one of those. I have one of those. Two of those. Huh. Surprisingly, that's actually an improvement. I'll take one of those. I'll take one of those, though I probably won't use it. Uh, really is that... No, this is just the weapons. Where's the armor? Where's the armor shop? Where is it? Oh, hey, what's this? Can I... I can't reach it. Seemingly. Not from here, at least. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Anyway, where's the damn weapon shop? Or er, armor. Armor, I mean armor. There it is. Haha. Mithril shields! I want four of those. Everyone can use the Mithril shield. Um, I want another one of those. I want one more of those. And is that actually it? Hmm. Seems like it. Well, okay then. Me thrill. Better defense and magic defense. But no, but the evasion doesn't get any higher. Let's see. This is slightly more powerful and it is effective on the back row, but it does not steal. And we are optimizing lock for stealing at the moment. Room blade. That increases my magic though, doesn't it? Oh no, it auto crits. Okay, Chain Flail is probably better off, even though it seems to have lower evasion. I mean, oh well, what you gonna do? I can put her on the back row of this, so it'll make her take a lot less damage. And Mithril Shield. There we go. Now, I think we're done here. Uh, yeah, we should just stay at the inn first, before we leave. 200 per night, that seems a little bit pricey. Oh well. Let us... get moving! We have to track down Terra. Uh, in case it wasn't clear what we were doing. <laughs> I don't want to be in here. Now, to Figaro! Okay, so. Uh, I just made a whoopsie. You see, Runic only works if you have a sword. Whoopsie. Now, it's not really all that important against random encounters right now, but I want to be able to use Runic. 
if I ever feel... if I am ever in the need of it. Because I will be in the need of it. On many occasions. <laughs> it's sort of the, the big selling point of Celeste over other characters who can use magic. Well, plus also, I suppose, Cure at this point. I mean, I say that, but the fact of the matter is, I sort of have pretty limited options for magic right now. I have Celez, I have Terra, who I actually don't have, and I have Gao, who is uncontrollable. Not really a whole lot of choice there. Anyway, onward to Figaro! And more importantly... Ah, this is just like old times. I'm gonna wander around for a bit. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'm gonna need to follow him later for a nice scene. But first... Wrong door. But first... Shopping! I can't take money from the king? You have a family, don't you? Just be quiet and take it. He says that, but we still get half price. Now, we have two new tools for Edgar here. Flash and Drill. This inflicts darkness on everyone, and I think it deals damage, although don't hold me to that one. This one deals a lot of damage to a single target. It's going to be our new fallback for bosses. Auto crossbow is still probably more useful against random encounters, because it hits everyone. And we're also going to get the discount over here. And what a discount. Actually, it's not that big a discount. It's still pretty damn nice, though. Spending a lot of money. Let's see... Like so... Hmm... Yeah, I don't need that many tents. I do want more high potions, though. And how many ethers can I... three. Well, I'm gonna want some, so... okay. I would've liked to get a few more ethers, but... oh well. Hmm... you know, I can probably sell some of my equipment right now, but... Actually, it would help if I press the right button. I can definitely sell some of my equipment right now. I have a lot of... junk, low-level stuff, like daggers and bucklers. But I'd rather not do that yet. So... Let's go track down Sabin. Not in here. Let me think. Think. I believe he went contrary to running up here over here oh I forgot I could rest for free here oh well it's only 200 gold oh it's gonna make me okay That's what I thought. Hmm. The castle hasn't changed much. Wait, so you're, you're saying that all of the mechanization and the part where it goes underground isn't new? And yet it's different. Mom and Dad are gone. Nothing can ever really be the same. 
not after what happened. Tonight, the worse he's being, so, if he should. No, you're wrong, it's not true! And the king has passed away. So two twin brother princes. They just got a deal. So, Dad, he didn't make it. Edgar! There you are! Your father just said he wouldn't trust Figaro to the two of you. Those were his final words. You all make me sick. Everyone's saying that the Empire had Dad poisoned! And the only thing any of you can think of is who's next in line! No one's even sad. None of you probably care when Mom died after we were born, either. That's not... You're just as bad as the rest of them! Oh, poor Sabin. Empire of murderers! They won't get away with this! Priestess, leave us. Let's leave this place. Let's forget this crazy kingdom and live our lives how we want to. You said you didn't want to be a king, right? A life of freedom, eh? What do you think would happen if we both left Figaro? There'd be no one to take the throne. Dad was counting on us to take care of the kingdom. Sabin, let's settle this with a coin. Dad gave me this one. If it's heads, you win. Tails, and I win. The winner chooses whatever path he wants. No regrets, no hard feelings. Here we go. And it was lost forever in the sands of Figaro. Except not really. Sabin won that coin toss. Although... It's already been ten- Really? Ten years? That little sh- <laughs> And you're the king crab! Sabin... Do you think Dad would be proud of me? Don't you ever doubt that. I'm sure he's be he's beaming with pride wherever he is. Ten years. Where indeed? Here's a couple of confused grown up. <laughs> That's definitely something to drink to. 
Here's to Dad. To Mom. And to Figaro. And on that note, we're going to leave off here for today. Join me next time when we submerge in Figaro Castle and turn up somewhere unexpected. But until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Baloo, and have a good day.